Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this video I'm gonna show you how to get a nuke on uh, Invasion on Modern Warfare 2. There's a couple, two different ways where I really uh, try to get a nuke using a nuke tube. Uh, as you see at first, if you spawn at A, basically wherever you spawn at, just aim up, point at C, shoot a couple nuke tubes, get them. Usually nine out of ten, you hit them, get a couple kills here. Uh, but basically, this video is basically how to get noob tube using uh, uh, sorry, getting a noob using noob tubes. Uh, it's the only way I really have gotten a nuke on this map. Uh, to, for me, it's a tough map to get a noob tube just running around. And I, ha I did have uh, a nuke before using UMPs, but it's pretty difficult. But um, usually, <coughs> what I start off is if I start off at A, I usually camp up here. Uh, usually just new tube towards B and set up my claymores. It's important to set up your claymores because people do try to get uh, go on top of that building and kill you. Uh, I try to get up here a couple times, but as you can see, it does get a little crowded up here, and then I eventually do move on. So, uh, show you up here going up. There's about two, three people, including me. Yeah, three people, including me, up here. So and one of my uh, teammates so it kinda gets a little crowded uh, usually it's just two people will be alright but someone will take your kills and stuff so uh, it's better uh, eventually I do move into that blue building up there and uh, try to rack up my kills there so as you see here I do miss with a shot with a new team at this point I think I'm mostly giving up on um, getting a nuke because usually if I haven't got a kill streak by now uh, it usually doesn't happen but I do get a nuke here at about a hundred hundred ten points uh, on our team side so I'll probably get it here pretty soon we rack up a couple kills here before I do go over there I think I get a double kill here up soon here a uh, pretty good double kill yeah here we go um I do get messages where um, people do send me hate messages saying I do noob tube a lot, but I pay no mind because it's, you know, it, for me it's what I do best. Uh, I know a lot of, I guess you call them movies, use it to uh, get kills because they do have the grenade launchers extra uh, strong in Modern Warfare 2. But I use both the machine gun and uh, grenade launchers for my noobs. But here is a good spot, <clears throat> like I said, to camp at. Make sure you do set your claymores in those two spots that I showed earlier. Because um, people do try to come up here. And basically what you're trying to do if you're here is you have a clear angle at B. And you do have a clear angle at that path toward uh, coming from C. And then when you do start new tubing, you actually do want to stand behind an object. Just in case someone does try to uh, send a RPG... Uh, or a grenade launcher or throw grenades up there so you can cover yourself uh, early in this video you show how <laughs> they do attempt to get me but I do uh, hide behind the desk right behind me and it gives me added shield and protection uh, to get a me uh, another thing I want to do mention is I do use one man army uh, it is easier to get a new tool if you use scavenger pro but for me one man army is you know, it's easier. Yes, you do camp a little bit. You need a camp uh, to use one man army. Uh, you don't have to, but that's what I just do. See, as you see right there, these do try to come up. Get that, get my first kill streak going. And I also wanted to mention that all my nukes that I get are payable nukes. I do not use chopper gun. Or I do not use um, AC-130. I just feel it's easier to get a nuke using pay payload because if you use a payload or AC-130, you have no control of someone uh, killing you. You have to find a good hiding spot. So I think a payload in this game is overpowered, I think, in my opinion. It takes two uh, javelin shots, I think, or two uh, just regular rocket launcher shots to bring it down. So it gives you... Um, it, it takes a while to kill down, especially if people don't use a uh, cold blooded pro or cold blooded, let's say, to uh, you know to hide from the sh uh, shots. Also, you see here what I'm doing here is hiding behind this table, aiming up and shooting. 
Uh, what I noticed with some people that try to uh, noob tube, they'll sit there and noob tube, but they won't duck down. In order to perfect your skill in noob tubing, is you got to, after you fire two shots, reload with the one man army, hide, and be able to change and reload, and be able to look down, spot your enemy, and fire as fast as possible and hide. This will prevent the enemy from seeing you. And they'll be like, you know, just gives them, be like, you know, once you get them, they'll be like, damn, where, where'd that come from? Blah, blah, blah. Alright, I think Luke should be coming here in 20 more points. Just needed a couple more kills. Here, it's, it was kind of dead, so I'm just looking around. Save my teammate there. And in this map, especially, a lot of the opposing team, if you have A secured, and be secure and if they have C but in this case they have B they'll respond down here and it's a great place to just camp move to and get in there it's really not that hard once you perfect the craft 